questions? <clears throat> I've got them. Like, do you want Luke to see it? Why? No. Alright, Ooh, what are the questions? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of The Coach's Corner, where we answer your questions sent into our Instagram page. I'm Ash. <coughs> I'm Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Linka. I'm Abby. And I'm Steve. Do you reckon they know us by now? Probably. <laughs> hey, I'm Luke. I'm <laughs> same guys last week. <laughs> same spots. Yeah. yeah. Same spots, same people. Oh, you guys in the same outfits. Oh, look yes, at this coordination. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we right. caught each other like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, like, you each other. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's jump into the first question. So, um, oh, first question is, I find that I get sweet cravings late at night. What can I do to cure this craving? Mm. Sweet cravings. Eat your sweets. That's what I'm going to say. Eat your sweets. Yep. If you're craving it, have it. There's no alternative. In moderation, like as long as you don't, it's just because you're craving it doesn't mean it's an excuse to just binge and yeah, go nuts. So. No, I'm not saying don't go and binge, yeah. but if you're craving it, then that's kind of, that's, I think that's what you would need. If you want to, if you're, you're trying to resist those cravings based on your goals, what I would do, I would um, brush my teeth and then I'll commit to that, I'm not eating the rest of the night. <laughs> so if you brush your teeth, you're like, okay, that's it, I'm not, I'm not going to eat after that. That's just a strategy I That's actually what I do. It's just like, okay, you yeah. brush your yeah. teeth. Yeah, okay. Or like something like that, and then you, you commit, that's it. Like if you eat dinner, go brush them straight away. Mm-hmm. Or <laughs> just don't have have it in the house. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. Or tea, yeah. like have a tea, like yeah. a herbal tea instead, because if you can try and not have it and then not have that habit of eating at every night. Yeah. yeah. So which I yeah, I think the best the best way is to not to have it in the house. Mm-hmm. Um, so that comes to what I always say to my clients when you go shopping. Um, try obviously not to buy things you're trying to mm-hmm. not to eat. So um, yeah, just not to have it. Mm-hmm. Or get dark chocolate. Look, if you're craving that food, then I think that you should have that food. Again, yes, with the board, everything is okay within moderation. But I mean, if you're craving something, you're restricting yourself. Um, from that, you, the craving's going to come back. I don't. I, I see is that if you were to eat an alternative food, it's not going to cure the, the actual f- the food that you're craving. So I would say is if you want that, then eat that. Everything is is good in moderation, flexibility, providing you know whatever the goal is as well. You can kind of eat towards your goals, um, but I don't think that it's kind of like taking you know a- anything away. You want what you can't have. So if you go on to this restrictive diet and completely restrict yourself from all these foods, it's gonna be a time where you're gonna want that. I think if the cravings then come back, they come back stronger, that's when it could turn into binge eating, which is then an unhealthy um, diet. Well, it's, yeah. late at, it's late at night as well, so just go to sleep. Yeah. yeah go to sleep. Get to the sleep, there's so much benefits to sleep rather than get yeah. it. And throughout the whole day as well. I mean, it's like you guys said, if you're craving it, you're probably deficient in something, your body's crying out for something, so it might help to drink some water. Yeah, drink some water. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure, sure. Yeah, make sure you get your food in throughout the whole day as well, so the protein, particularly the protein and the fiber. The food like you said, so. All right, so the next question, I think this one's funny. How does Luke make his hair so perfect so early in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Not very perfect today. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, so it's so bad today. How long does it take you? <laughs> I don't do it in the morning, Michael. <laughs> I just wake up like this. I've seen, I've seen him do it in the kitchen. I've been there at 5 a.m. and it's just been in the kitchen. So. He has a mirror on his yeah. little desk. Yeah. 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 I just wake up like that. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put too much effort into it. Depends. That's <laughs> it's fantastic. It's just the night before. <laughs> nah, no, not yeah. Night like before, this. yeah. <laughs> With the hairspray. A lot of hairspray. It's in the week. Um, okay, so what techniques do you use to push through a hard session or a hard set, both for yourself and for your clients? Right, well, I mean, I think that um, if it's a hard set, like, I will... Mine, I think, music is going to help. Um, but also, another thing is preparation um, prior to, to a set. So, I guess, with myself and my clients, that I would... Um, I'd notify them a minute before if it was a, a big lift, 
I'll let them know about a minute and a half to go, um, and then I would not let them talk anymore, so then they can start focusing on the lift itself, um, and then kind of count them into the sets so that they are prepared. Um, I think there's a I think we kind of touched on this last week of different procedures approaching a lift kind of gets you into your your focus as well um, going into something heavy so that's kind of something that I would do and what I do with my clients is also. I think everyone um, is different again um, and everyone should have different approach to it. Like, start, like I don't need music at all. I do. So, like, I think that's different. Yeah, like, exactly. Music, yeah, exactly. music like, pops me up. To me, to me so. no matter if there is music or if there is no music, it like, doesn't really doesn't matter. matter. Like, it's yeah. exactly the same for me. Yeah. I can talk up until I actually go and leave. Um, again, same thing. Like I know people. some people just don't talk to anyone. Mm. They got their earphones. Um, and yeah, so everyone's different. So everyone should find the way that works for, mm. that works for them. And think, um, think about yeah. you know, afterwards, like how you feel afterwards. Like don't think about before then you start to overthink it or whatnot, just be like, you know what, gotta get it done, let's do it afterwards, how am I gonna feel <coughs> getting here and mm. doing it, getting through it. Mm. Probably making sure you adequately rest before that set, so instead of rushing straight into it, making sure you've caught your yeah, breath back, so yeah, you don't wanna be like that slightly bit tired for it, because then that will affect it. Yeah. And if you don't have a trainer, um, like having a training partner with you, so bring your friend along because it does make such a big difference having mm. someone training with you there, yep. like just mentally. Even just a spot for yeah, a hard exactly. session, yeah. Yeah. someone watching you for that set yeah. makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, also, I think as well with the question being a hard session or a set, um, with the hard session, you, you want to make sure that you kind of get some sort of pre-workout beforehand, whether it's a food or, or a supplement, um, something to give you energy for the hard session ahead. So. And even just um, warm up and just pre preparation for the workout. I find that with most clients and myself, if you get a good warm up in, do some mobility activation stuff, mm. you normally set and then you're in the zone. If you just come in just like on your phone, and like, all right, I'm gonna squat, let's just squat. Like, it doesn't work like that. Just get prepared for you. If you know it's a hard session, get prepared. They'll help mentally as well, not just obviously physically, it's gonna have the benefits, but mentally you'll prepare you as well. Yeah. And I think what Steve said, it, with hard sessions, it helps if there is someone else with you. Yeah. It's always motivates you a little bit more. Mm. Mm. Um, okay, should it be a plug for these jumpers? <laughs> well, yeah, here's, here's a quick little plug. If you are a Squat Club <laughs> member and you'd like to bring someone in to join up to the Squat Club <laughs> family, you will receive a free hoodie. Money can't buy these hoodies. So there's a plug. Thanks, Link. <laughs> a training partner. <laughs> you get a training partner and a jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so you whipping that. That's good. That worked out. You get it. Do um, partner. Do we always? Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got it now. I jumped on it. Everyone gets it. Yeah, I got a blonde hair. I was in the last person to get it. <laughs> <laughs> you should no, no, use no. your last. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like so astonished that you guys are working it out like two minutes later. <laughs> All right, uh, next question. Uh, I think I thought this one was pretty funny. Um, do we always have dogs in the gym? <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Three of them. They're always here. Yeah. Always here. Is that a problem? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think people have been watching our stories and seeing them in the background. But yeah, they're our training partners. Yeah. So. <laughs> they're always here. Everyone loves them. They're not going anywhere. If you bring a dog this month, you get a free. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, what exercises should I be doing to get toned arms? Tone. Tone. Let's, can we clarify, that, clarify. That, that part there? I think we should try and um, increase in muscle that. mass, decrease in fat mass. Yes. That's what toned is. So if you're trying, girls like typical, like it's. It's very typical, girls. It is very typical. Like I want toned arms. What you're trying to do, you're trying to build muscle and you're trying to lose fat. That's what toned is to start. So. Muscle definition. Yeah, to yeah. lose fat from your arms, um, <laughs> you can't spot reduce. <laughs> yeah. you, can, you can't yeah, spot reduce. You can't, yeah, exactly. you can't yeah. tell your body where you want to lose the fat from. No. It's a combination right. of training, eating, nutrition, laughter, energy balance. Yeah. Lose the body fat. Yeah. But also in saying that, like, look at your 
uh, upper body movements, um, specifically like compound movements too, like bench presses, um, chin ups, overhead presses, things like that. They're already gonna incorporate your arms and their big movements. So um, start to try and put them as a, as a big function into your training regime as well. It should be a combination of working training and your body. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. Don't yeah. just come in and go and do bicep curls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get your curls arms. get the girls. Yeah. <laughs> So don't specifically look at that question as, as that I'm going to get toned up. It's, it's the whole overall picture. Yeah. yeah. It, it will be a result of that. So. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But this might be this will be one for you, I think. Uh, how do you determine if you should be pulling a sumo deadlift or a conventional deadlift? Mm -hmm. So, who, so first, who pulls of all, what? first of all, first of all. Yeah. I'm a sumo now. Me too. Same time. <laughs> I'm a conventional. I've been doing conventional. I, I think the most important thing in this question is just because I think as trainers and as an individual, like just because you do that lift, like a sumo convention, doesn't mean that's the right one yeah. for the person. Yeah. So that's the first, that's, that's the first thing. Sumo is not cheating. <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in Lenka's case, she's a power lifter. Sumo is good because it reduces the range of motion. Is that right? Yeah, yeah but again, not everyone um, will do sumo. Will do sumo. Yeah. But that's a benefit for the sport. Um, yeah. But even even like if you look at the powerlifters, the best powerlifters are most of the time conventional mm -hmm. lifters. So it's not like sumo will, like you'll be stronger in sumo. It's not always like that. Um, it depends on um, your hip structure. Um, Buddy. Leverages. I think, yeah, I, so bi it's like biomechanically, there's there's differences within the two. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, it's, for people that know what it is, sumo is obviously your hips, it's a bit closer to the bar, you're more upright, so your overall, yeah, your legs are apart, a um, bit more quad dominant, less on the back. Um, what are that? Like, you still get the posterior chain, whereas a conventional, close together. Hips a bit further away, so you, so if, when you start looking at all these biomechanical factors, you're like, okay, well, you need better hip, um, like hamstring mo mobility for a conventional, or for a sumo, you need better hip mobility. Like you got to start looking at all those variables when you're deciding that as well. It, at the end of the day, like there's like there's a lot of factors. Yep. Like people look at like arm length and leg length and stuff. And you can start going really deep into what would be better for you. But I think at the end of the day, it's a matter of what fits better for you. It's not one is better than the other. Yeah. It's, it's what works best for you. And you can just do that by trying it, whatever feels more comfortable. At the end of the day, if you're lifting heavy weight, your posterior your chain is going to be strong, whether you're in sumo or conventional. But you can also just do cycles of it as well. Yeah. Cycle between the two. So it's not to say, oh, I should just be doing sumo or I should just be doing conventional. You can play around with oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, definitely try both. At different stages through training, mm. you know, one might be better if mm. you have hip issues or back issues yeah. or whatever else and use it as a supplement. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, there will be people who just won't be able to do conventional or the opposite. Who yeah. won't be able to do sumo. So yeah. like yeah, there is no black you, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's no you black have to one. do that or you have nah. to do that. No, nah, it's yeah, I guess the biggest thing is people don't get closed minded that one is better than the other. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. there'll be benefits of both, and at the end of the day, try it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. try it out, see what works best for you. Um, final question of the day, I think it's probably one of the. the uh, I touched my foot on this one. <laughs> um, does, does sex count as cardio? This is why Steve is so fit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really train. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about here? You're doing. A lot of cardio? Or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Essentially, no, it doesn't count as cardio because you know you can. It's part of your life. Like Amy said, you're living your life. So whether you know you can you can count it in if you want into your energy expenditure for the day. <laughs> but you know that's same as you would for what type of job you do or you know. What I mean, but um, maybe you should do training, it in the morning no. when you're fasting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fasting cardio. <laughs> 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 So definitely not cardio, but more about your need, your non-exercise activity, yeah. ergogenesis. So things like, yeah, like, like you just said there, like walking, and brushing teeth, and things yeah. like that. It's already burning calories anyway, but don't count it as cardio. That was me.
Uh, that's all the questions for today. If you have any other questions for next week's episode, make sure you send them through to our Instagram Squat Club page. It's going to be here posted on Luke's head. And, and Luke um, does shout outs. <laughs> I do shout outs. PM me if you need it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, you can link us to dance before we go. Uh, just a little outro <laughs> dance. I thought you were going to dance. Lenka? That was your dance. Lenka? No, no. <laughs> go on, Lenka. <laughs> That's wrong, isn't it? Right, like, no, I show him. Be like that. Faster. Faster. Yeah, we need those hits. Thanks, guys. See you next week. <laughs>